there are some things that are natural about the passing of Colin Powell because he is both the culmination of every soldier who ever served, and I say soldier with the small s, a soldier, sailor, airman, marine that ever served. He is the culminating effect of all of them. He's the platform from which Barack Obama dived as commander in chief. And I say it like this because here's what happened. Over the years, the African American has had to first show that he could fight, to prove that he could fight. Because a warrior was seen as the epitome of a man, a warrior that could think speak was an elevated man. The Greeks, they, all of their, or I shouldn't say all, most of their philosophers were also warriors. And the, the people that we held highest, Achilles, they were all students of Plato or Socrates. And so they, we started to make the warriors something special. You look at the leadership of most nations, they were warriors. All the leaders were warriors first. And then they became statesmen. So the question about the African-American was, was not just would we fight, but could we fight? And then we demonstrated our ability to fight and we proved ourselves as warriors the world over, not just in the United States, but the world over. So then the question became, could you lead? So then the non-commissioned officers, especially those non-commissioned officers that showed themselves in the first Rhode Island Regiment and then later in both the uh, Revolutionary War Civil War, and then of course, the uh, post-war with the Buffalo Soldiers, where the non-commissioned officers showed themselves and distinguished themselves in battle and showed their ability to both manage men and equipment and essentially run a unit once provided correct guidance and vision for an organization. So then the question was, well, can they plan can the African-American plan, can he really use higher level learning that we demand of our officers? And so that happened on the battlefield before West Point, but then West Point became the, West Point was the place where America's real officers were made. 